Pagani that just left the Philippine area of responsibility yesterday, another tropical storm formed in part. Seven to ten typhoons are more likely to enter Philippine area of responsibility, according to Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA. For our latest weather report, we can talk live with PAGASA weather specialist, Venus Selmo. A blessed day, Venus. A blessed day, Ms. Selmo. In a briefing past 11 a.m. on Saturday, the PAGASA said, Marine was located 820 kilometers east of Barak Catanduanes. The tropical storm's direction shifted from east-northeast to west-northwest but it is moving at the same speed of 15 kilometers per hour. Moderate and heavy rains are possible over Western Visayas, Occidental Mindoro, and Palawan. Light to moderate rains are also possible over Bicol Region, Caraga, and the rest of Visayas. Under these conditions, the Public and Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office's concerned are advised to take all necessary measures to protect life and property. Persons living in area identified to be high or very high susceptible to these hazards are advised to follow evacuation and other instructions from local officials. The public is warned to stay alert, vigilant, and be prepared at all times. Here are some tips and things to prepare. Get updates on the typhoon. Know the contact numbers of key agencies like National Disaster and Risk Reduction, Pag-asa, and your city's PNP hotline. Discuss and practice household disaster and emergency plans with your family. Identify the selected evacuation centers near your house and prepare for possible evacuation. Charge your cell phone battery, flashlights, and extra power bank. Ready your go bag that contains your basic needs such as water and easy-to-eat food that will last for days, extra clothes, extra batteries, radio and flashlights, Whistle, raincoat, and medicine. Toiletries. First aid kit. Seal important documents on a waterproof envelope. Repair vulnerable parts of the house. Be sure trees and shrubs around your home are well trimmed so they are more wind resistant. During the typhoon, Monitor weather news and updates. Remain calm. Do not go out of the house as much as possible. If flooding looms, immediately evacuate things to higher ground. It is better to turn off the main switch of your house. Stay away from glass windows. Make sure the LPG tank in your kitchen has no leaks. Keep relatives updated. Keep constant communication with your relatives or friends that are outside the typhoon zone so that they know your status as well if you're safe. And after the typhoon, report damaged electrical cables and fallen electric posts to the authorities. Don't go near uprooted trees, damaged structures, and power lines. Stay in your area to avoid causing inconvenience during emergency response. Before turning on electronic appliances, check all the outlets to make sure they are not wet. Throw away stagnant water in wheels and pots to get rid of mosquito eggs and larvae. If evacuated, wait for the signal from authorities when it is safe to return home. And lastly, it's now time to help the people around us. Help your neighbors, help spread the word, take pictures, and use the proper hashtags. But no matter how organized and prepared we can get, the most effective way to be ready is to be alert at all times, and always seek God's help in every step of the way. That's it for our weather report. Back to you, Miss Salmo. Indeed, our actions today will determine if we're going to be more vulnerable or more resilient. 
everyone can be part of this whole world's project to reduce the effects of disasters. Venus Martinez Salmo, I am ready. News and Rescue.